Hello lovelies, I am Maromini and welcome to my channel. Uh, today we are going to be talking about a serious topic that I have been putting off for quite some time. I am getting surgery. Uh, so I have been putting off talking about this for some time for quite a few reasons. Um, one is nerves. I'm just really nervous about talking about it. Um, Two, I'm scared. I'm scared about the procedure. I'm scared about medical anxiety and I'm scared about not coming through it, uh, which I know is like over dramatic. And um, I'm also scared about your opinions of this. I'm scared that you're going to think less of me because I'm choosing to do this. Um, another reason why I've been putting off this video is because of denial. Denial is very... Um, a very powerful thing and it's so much easier to say this surgery is off in the distance and I don't have to worry about it yet except this surgery is less than two weeks away so um, I am getting a breast reduction surgery done on March 26th so this is uh, something that I have wanted pretty much since I started developing breasts I was a tomboy as a child, um, so much so that I actually seriously wanted to be a boy. But I developed and I developed rapidly when I was going into grade 7. I was already a full C cup. By the time I was leaving grade 8, I was already a very full double D. Um, through high school, I wore triple Ds, even though they didn't actually fit, I had grown out of them. And it wasn't until my mid to late 20s that I actually found a place that carried bras that were similar to my size. Um, so I was always wearing bras that were too small. Even now I wear a bra that's too small. I am on my very last real bra and even it doesn't fit properly. I believe as of right now I'm, I'm close to a 42 double J or double K. I think the bra that I have is a double J and I think I might actually be a double K. Um, I don't know the difference between European sizing and US sizing when it comes to bras. All I know is I have very large breasts and they are very much a pain, a pain in my life. Um, so I want to talk a little bit about why I've decided to do this. This is something that I've wanted to do, as I said, pretty much my entire adult and pubescent life. This is something that I've always known that I wanted to do. Um, but I have put it off for a very long time because I have very real, very strong, very scary medical anxiety. I didn't have a doctor that I trusted for any amount of time until recently, within the last few years. I have had a couple of very close people in my life um, that had cancer incidences that were very scary and very rattling and just the type of thing that will take somebody that has the deepest bone chilling fear of doctors and make them go in to finally see someone. So um, in addition to uh, the pain that they cause me because they are very heavy, each breast is larger than my head. Um, it's a tremendous weight that I carry and it has uh, deformed my back in ways. I have done permanent damage to my rotator cuff. I do not have full mobility in my left arm. Um, it's, they're, they're a burden. They are a very real burden. But as I was saying, I, I have been scared to talk about this for multiple reasons, and one of them was because of public perception. I was scared of what you would think about this decision of mine, and I, I've been very scared that people are going to liken it to a decision to pursue weight loss surgery, and I just want to let you know that, um, I'm very mindful and I want to be very mindful about when I'm talking about this, that I don't want to equate um, something that I'm doing to make myself smaller. I don't want it to be that I'm making myself better in any way um, because I'm smaller. I have very complex and very messed up feelings about this, but I know that this is something that I very much want and have always wanted, and I also feel that I need and will benefit from, but I... I'm just really scared that people are going to take this in the wrong light and um, and that that makes me nervous. 
I have to admit that I felt somewhat of a, uh, a little bit of a phony when it comes to uh, being touted as a body positive influencer. Uh, body positivity is something I believe in, and I believe that the movement is very important, and I believe that it is about not just about loving your body and it being a self reflection. I believe that it is about creating space and listening and creating um, opportunities for people of size, people of my size, people larger than me, and finding access to activities, to clothing, to being treated with respect and decency. That is what body positivity is to me, and that is that's important. But when you're practicing body positivity on yourself, I suppose it's a little bit more of a self-love journey and self-acceptance. And I've always felt a little bit of a phony when I have a part of myself that I have hated so much and that I have never come to terms with and that I know that I never will come to terms with. And I'd be lying by saying that I'm not excited by the access that it's going to grant me um, by the privilege that it will grant me to be able to actually be able to find bras in my size. Because as of right now, I can't find bras in my size. It is very difficult. There is a small handful of brands that cater to my size, and a bra, a single bra, can be anywhere from $90 to $150, plus shipping, plus tax, plus custom fees, because I'd be having to order it from online generally. So, um... Yeah, so I've been really nervous about that. I've been very scared that you will think less of me. And that's really hard. That's a hard pill to swallow. But that's also one of those lessons in life where you have to live your life for yourself. And this is something that I have to do for myself. That I know that I will feel better. That I am opening up the opportunity to be um, welcoming joyful movement back into my life, which is not something I have right now. Um, I have chronic pain issues, something that we are looking into now that I do have a doctor that I trust and that has worked very hard to build that trust with me, uh, which is not something I ever expected to find with a doctor ever. But yeah, I would like to be able to incorporate movement into my life a little bit better and um the idea and the prospect of not being in constant pain all the time is pretty appealing i know that this isn't going to um heal all my woes i am very aware of that but i am very excited about the possibility i suppose as someone that has a anxiety disorder which i do um we tend to spiral out of control thinking about all the terrible what ifs and something that I've been trying very hard is to be mindful of the positive what ifs and I have to keep those in mind because right now I'm really I'm scared as I said I'm scared of surgery I've, I've been scared about what y'all are gonna think but I'm also scared about about the surgery I'm scared that um things won't go well. I'm scared that the worst case scenarios will happen. I'm scared that I might not wake up from going under. Um, I'm scared that my nipples will fall off and die. Like that's real. That can happen. Um, I'm scared about how I'm going to feel about my body after the surgery. Because as much as I have a very complicated relationship with my chest. It's also a big part of my identity. My body is a huge part of my identity. And changing it and changing it so drastically, I don't know what my relationship with my body is gonna feel like afterwards. I don't know what it's gonna be like to find clothes. I don't know how my current clothing is gonna fit me. Um, so a lot of things are scaring me, it's scaring the pants off of me, and so that's why I've been putting off talking about it for so long. It's also why I haven't been putting out as much content, like my hot cup of videos, I've been kind of cooling it on those because every time I sit down to have a little chat, this is basically all I want to talk about. 
But at the same time, it's the very last thing I want to talk about because I'm terrified. So, uh, yeah. I would like to be able to share this with you. I would like to be able to share more of this journey with you, and I would love to be able to answer your questions. I can start by answering a few questions here. Um, so this surgery is covered under universal health care in Canada. So if you're a Canadian citizen and this is something that you were looking to get or have been curious about, this is covered because it is um, going to help my well-being. I have been on a wait list. I was waitlisted for a year until I got my consultation with my surgeon and then I was told that it would be a, another year until I would see the possibility of surgery and then I waited another year past then. So this has now been a, a three year process. Oh my god, this has been three years. So I've been holding on to this for three years of my life. I have had a few surgery dates offered to me that didn't work out. I have had surgery dates rescheduled on me. So, and the possibility of this surgery date still getting moved could happen last minute. I don't know. So I have a pre-surgery appointment next week and I am gonna be popping some Ativan for that appointment. I'm going to be asking more questions. Um, if you have any questions, please, I really want to share this journey with you. So, um, if you have questions about the, the procedure, my journey, anything like that, please ask them here. Um, I will be doing a follow-up video after my surgery, um, to answer everything, to let you know how I'm doing as an update. So please feel free to ask me any kind of questions and I really do want to be able to answer them. I might not answer them in the comment section here. I'm probably going to collect them all and then I'm going to address them in another video. Yeah, I, I've been so scared, y'all. I've been scared to mention this to you. And you are such a tremendous support and you are just like, you have been so good to me and you... <sighs> you've really been there for me and I just I want to thank you and I want to include you in this and I want to request any healing positive vibes that you may have on March the 26th to think of me give me a thought and let's all cross our fingers that I wake up from that surgery I just want to thank you all so much for watching I want to thank you all for being here for me and supporting me and um, I just want to let you know how much I appreciate you. I hope that you are having a lovely day. Just remember to be kind, have fun, stay weird. I love you so much. Thank you for being here for me.